Ladies and gentlemen, join us as we recognize the best and brightest of the Columbia business community. Lindsay Spires Griffin, Young Professional of the Year. The ultimate cheerleader for the Midlands, Lindsay Spires Griffin has left her mark on many areas of Columbia. Currently, Lindsay serves the clients and families of Bank of America. In her role with the private bank, she works with individuals, families, and local philanthropic institutions to address their unique financial management priorities. Born and raised in Columbia, Lindsay has a passion for promoting and championing this region she calls home. She serves her community in many capacities. A South Carolina Philharmonic board member, a historic Columbia Advisory Council member, a Central Midlands Habitat for Humanity Advisory Board member, and as a coordinating council member of Eastminster Presbyterian Women. Lindsay is also behind the hyper-local Instagram account called at Colatown Foodie and Fun, where she highlights the region's blossoming food and beverage scene while sharing family-friendly activities and date nights across town. You can find Lindsay, her husband, and two young boys at most major events around Columbia as she continues to support the community she loves. Congratulations to the 2022 Young Professional of the Year, Lindsay Spires Griffin. Leanna Lee, Diplomat of the Year. The Columbia Chamber Diplomats are a group of knowledgeable volunteers that proudly serve as representatives of the Chamber throughout the community. This year's winner, Leanna Lee, is one of the brightest examples of a Chamber Diplomat. Since childhood, Leanna's mother has always said that she's never met a stranger. So after moving to Columbia in 2016 and accepting the job as Director of Sales at Graduate Columbia, she made it her mission to immerse herself in the Columbia community. In addition to being the face of her hotel, she is proud to represent and stand beside other organizations such as Meeting Professionals International, Committee of 100, and the National Organization for Albinism and Hypopigmentation. Leanna, her husband Jonathan, and their two children, Harper and Garrett, are avid Florida Gator fans and enjoy attending sporting events whenever they can. When she is not busy shuffling her children between school, soccer, and dance, you can find the Lees at a local baseball game, Wild Dunes, or Disney parks. Congratulations to the 2022 Diplomat of the Year, Leanna Lee. Lamont Christian, Military Advocate of the Year. Lamont Christian, Command Sergeant Major, is a native of Brooklyn, New York. He entered the Army Reserves as a parachute rigger in 1986 and later entered active duty, completing Infantry One Station Unit Training at Fort Benning, Georgia. He held every infantry leadership position, including team leader, squad leader, platoon sergeant, first sergeant, and command sergeant major. He is recognized around the world as America's drill sergeant, having led the Army's only drill sergeant academy at Fort Jackson and having his voice premiered in the Gatorade Hard Work Military Cadence commercial. After 32 years of service, he retired in 2018 as the 24th Post Command Sergeant Major of Fort Jackson and continues to assist nonprofit organizations, law enforcement, and first responder organizations by providing leadership, training improvement, and development. He serves as Director of Post Traumatic Growth Program at the Big Red Barn Retreat in Blythewood, South Carolina. Congratulations to the 2022 Military Advocate of the Year, Lamont Christian. Skip Holbrook, Public Servant of the Year. William Skip Holbrook is one of the most recognizable public figures in Columbia. Appointed the Chief of the Columbia Police Department in 2014, he has more than 30 years of law enforcement experience. Under Chief Holbrook's leadership, the Columbia Police Department is implementing organizational and operational reforms, which have been recognized by the U.S. Department of Justice for 21st century policing efforts. In 2018, Chief Holbrook received the Strom Thurmond Award for Excellence in Law Enforcement. In 2020, Chief Holbrook was appointed to United States Conference of Mayors USCM, National Police Reform and Racial Justice Working Group. A native of Huntington, West Virginia, Chief Holbrook served for seven years as the Chief of Police for the Huntington Police Department prior to coming to the Columbia Police Department. 
In addition to serving on several boards and committees, Chief Holbrook is an active member of many organizations, including the South Carolina Law Enforcement Officers Association, FBI National Academy Associates, and the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives. Congratulations to the 2022 Public Servant of the Year, William Skip Holbrook. David Pankow, Ambassador of the Year. David began his career at Blue Cross in April of 1993, so he's been with Blue Cross for almost 30 years. He became CEO in August of 2010, so 12 years of being the CEO of our organization. David is a change agent, um, but not because of a big flashy leadership style, but because of substance that you just can't argue with. Execution is something that that always follows strategy with David. There are a lot of people with plans and some people with good plans, but there aren't many people who can execute on those plans. David always has a plan. It's always a good plan, and he always executes on the plan. David is absolutely committed to the economic success, vibrancy, and vitality of our region. His many roles in civic leadership have benefited our community tremendously. David would want to say, it's not just him, it's the team of folks that he has around him. And if you look at what Blue Cross and Blue Shield has done for the Midlands uh, over the years, it's just unprecedented. Blue Cross and Blue Shield has been the gold standard for what all of us as corporate entities uh, should do. And, uh, but it starts at the top. With Blue Cross facing challenges in the healthcare industry, David went a different direction instead of following the pack and expanded and not only expanded, but really strategically changed uh, the focus to ensure that that organization would be sustainable for the next several generations. I talked to David often about how he was navigating those challenges and he was so thoughtful about first figuring out what the facts were and then making inclusive and careful decisions with the benefit of his team that really uh, benefited all of us as a community. I think one of David's greatest qualities is just a great work ethic. David is the most prepared, organized person that I've ever worked with. He puts in the time, the effort to make sure he's paying attention to details, and that's trickled through our entire organization and I think even outside of us into the entire Columbia business community. He doesn't do things for the glory of the fanfare. And that's really probably the number one reason why we should uh, pause and, and recognize David for what he's done uh, in this community for so many years. David is a difference maker. His ability to listen, not just listen, but David hears what people are saying. David considers contrary opinions. And David weighs the facts before proclaiming his opinion. Those traits, I believe, are one of the reasons that people so often lean into David for counsel. He's built a great culture where people work hard to pay attention to detail, but very compassionate about the communities we live in, our employees, their families, and everything about the community as well. Well, David leads by example. That's one of the key attributes in his leadership style. He is very engaged in the community. He has served on many boards. He and his team participate in Midlands Gives, an initiative of Central Carolina Community Foundation that inspires others to give. He also encourages folks to participate in United Way's annual appeal and participate in food drives with Harvest Hope. But David does more than that. Last year, Blue Cross changed their leave policy to provide paid time off so employees could volunteer at approved COVID-19 centers where vaccines were being administered. He also provides paid time off for folks in his company who want to donate blood through the Red Cross. I mean, that is true leadership, showing compassion for community and that nudge to get folks involved. David uh, really stepped up to the plate as it relates to our HBCUs in, in South Carolina. And uh, without, again, without the fanfare, David through Blue Cross and Blue Shield 
made a very significant contributions to the HBCUs of the state. And David has always been generous, not only with his time, but also uh, with resources, uh, people, and finances to help move important diversity initiatives forward. In fact, it was David's drive behind Blue Cross's efforts to help the HBCUs at such a critical time during COVID that made a big difference in each of those organizations. He's just got great vision and leadership. He knows where business is gonna go in the future, not just where it's at today. And I guess the most important thing is he's just a really smart guy. He gives credit away. He lifts up others. When you are the CEO of one of the area's largest companies, that is an incredibly admirable and inspirational trait. And I think even though he does not like it, uh, I hope that David will thoroughly enjoy hearing what this community, um, hearing how this community feel about him, hearing the appreciation. David embodies the traits of an ambassador for the chamber. Not only does he have keen insight and thoughtful deliberations, but he's always viewing what he's doing through the lens of how will it help our community? How will it move our state forward? I can think of no one more deserving than David for this award. Congratulations, David. Congratulations to David Pankow, the Columbia Chamber 2022 Ambassador of the Year.